going to be doing a little bit of work on TC. Nothing, ma nothing major, so it doesn't warrant the adventure title. So let's get straight to it. This. This. Okie dokie, as you can probably see, possibly see, I don't know, depending on the light, right about there is a oil filter. And that was put on when, hang on, no, not there, it's there. It's underneath the fuel filter. Um, that was put on when the engine was put in, so you're talking over a year ago. So, um, one other reason why I'm doing an oil change, I was to pull, so I'm going to move that out of the way, I'm going to see it a bit better. Yeah, big, big bulky white thing down here. Um, the other reason for changing the filter is because the other day I went to go and see a friend of mine um, over in Saltash who has uh, purchased a uh, Ford Capri. I will insert that clip now. Hello everyone, uh, it's a quick video on TC, kind of, because TC has come to come and visit my friend's Ford Capri injection. This is a Mark III, uh, 1984. Have a look at that, so 1980s, this thing is awesome, sounds amazing as well. Oh. So it's a 2.8 injection special and it's running a cologne engine. This thing is so shiny. Check that out. It's absolutely stunning. Now, after that clip, I came home and on the way home I got caught in traffic. Um, not the best thing but certainly not the worst. Anyway, TC started getting a bit warm and it was raining and I really didn't want to drive TC in the rain. So he overheated and yeah, I'd pull over, stop at the side of the road for a bit, let it cool down. And then uh, I managed to get to a turning downhill. Um, so then I could literally drive downhill, get the cooling air, you know, into the radiator, and then I could get home. And luckily, the engine cooled down enough for me to get back, put TC in the garage. So, the following day, I came up to the garage to do some checks on TC. Thought I hadn't, you know, be a wise choice to do it. And I pulled out the dipstick. There was oil on the bottom of the dipstick, so I'm thinking, okay, wipe it clean, put it back in, and check the oil level. Now, let's take this, take the dipstick out. The car has been sat now for a couple of days, and there is very, 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 very minimal oil on the bottom of that stick. Can you see that? Just a bit shiny. So. What we are going to be doing, as I said earlier, is filling TC up with oil. Now, my theory is, because when I took the dipstick out the first time, cleaned it, put it back in, as I said, nothing on the end of the stick. So I'm kind of guessing that the filter is going to have very little in it as well. So what I'm going to do, because I don't think I have the correct tool to get that filter out of the car. So it's going to have to be a Destructo screwdriver and a hammer jobby. But I will have a look and see what I've got. Sadly not. I do not have the correct tool for getting that filter out. So it's going to be a case of destruction. There we go, you can just about see it in there. The new one, however, 
is a man filter. And that one is nice and white and shiny. Look at that. Beauty. So what I'll do is I'll fill that up with oil, put some oil around the top, just like I did on the Rover video. If you want to watch that, I'll put the link up there. Um, there's two Rover videos, so if you want to watch those, you're more than welcome. Um, and I'll get this on the car. Ta-da! All right, not much can be seen, I'm afraid. Um, I'm going to try and get some rags underneath the car, well, underneath where the filter is. This will be interesting. There's that one. Honestly, I don't know how much you can see of that. I'm going to put some random rags underneath the car. Okay. Let's get the screwdriver and the hammer. Now, because I don't have a clear shot at trying to get in there, I think it's going to have to be hit it. Don't know if you can, how much you can see of what I'm doing there. My hand is probably right in the way. Okay. I'm going to try and hit the ham hit the screw hit the the um, filter there where that big rusty mark is there or right near there smack the screwdriver in there and try and pull it this way towards the front of the car and try and avoid the filter if I can because that's going to be the only option I reckon I think I might have to move the camera. I'll come back. Okay, so I took the camera away for a bit. Um, smacked the uh, the filter at one side and it just dented. So I had to go in at this angle and then I punctured it. And now it's turning. So I wonder if I can get in there with my hand. God, no. Where's that spare rag? Might be a case of trying different angles and trying to hammer it that way. It's not the easiest angle, is it really? No, it certainly isn't. There we go, it's turning. Not yet, oil is coming out and thankfully going all over the uh, bag we put down there. There we go. Let's get this thing out off. This is gross. Let's get the vacuum hose out of the way. Come on, you little bagger. Out you come. Oh, no. Let's drop it at the bottom. There we go. Lovely. 
dark side. Come to the dark side. Okay, so let's let, let that, uh, I'm guessing that side of the engine is going to be dribbling. I wish I had some light on the subject. I would use my phone, but it's on charge right now. Okay, so down in those darknesses. Okay, let's have a look at that filter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty mullered. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Two nice big holes in it. I'll leave it on some cardboard. I'll clean up the mess after. Sorry you can't see what I'm looking at. Unfortunately, we don't have I don't have multi cameras today. I've also ordered while I'm at it. Oh should come through in the post fairly soon. There's some silicon hose for here. Unfortunately it's not green. Um that would have been nice, but hey ho. And I will feed it down the side of the radiator on the inside of these brackets that I made. So it's a metre long that I ordered. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so I'll try and get you in there, but I don't think you're going to see anything. No, it's just blackness. Sorry about that. Right, prop you back up the right way. I will try and dig out my phone because then I've got a torch. I can edit in that part of the film, can't I? I certainly can. Right, back in a moment I'll give you some footage from the phone. Right, there you go, a white. Right, let's get the uh, new oil, new filter. Let's move you from there. Let's crack open that there. Okay. Actually, I can't remember if you need to fill up the oil on the cap, the um, filter or not. Not sure, can't remember. Unless the car does it on its own, but then again, it's probably wise to fill the um, the filter. Hello in there. Do, 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 do. No, just checked uh, online. Don't need to uh, fill the uh, filter at all on a truck, maybe. Um, on a bigger vehicle, but not, uh... oh, hang on, come on, there we go, oh, dear. blimey, that's a bit tight, sorry about the shaky camera in this, oh, me again, hang on, ta-da, right, screwdriver, same principle as before when filling the bike, Put a hole there, hole there. I'm going to put some in the cap there so I can put a smear of oil around the um, filter. Like so. Smeary, smeary, oily, oily. Just in case you guys don't know. Or anyone who comes across this video and you know doesn't know and if you're new to the channel feel free to do the likey stuff you know likey stuff subscribey stuff all that youtube gump that they want us to do don't want to waste any oil do we actually that's that's not even worth it is it oh yeah might as well be <laughs> 
Right. Sod that. Okay. Time to get the filter on. All right. Phone charged. Let's have a look down here, shall we? See what's like in there. Oh, sorry about that. That's filter. Right, there we go. There is the hole for the filter. I'll give that a wipe because it looks like it needs it. There's a dribbling oil, and that oil in there is pretty black. So, yeah, let's do that. And then I'll put the filter on. Get your filter on. Get your filter on. Could do with getting a new uh, cap for the top of the engine. This one's a bit knackered. Okay, brand new filter going in, guys. And remember, it only needs to be firm. You do not need a tool kit to do this. And there we go. It's almost ready. Screwing in. That'll do. I'll check it later, just to see if it is weeping, because if it is, I can just pinch it up a little bit more. So, yeah. Lovely, lovely new filter, and I will date that. I'll get a marker pen, I'll put a date on it. Okay, so, um, now we've filled up the um, filter, uh, done the filter thingy, Bob. Um, don't need the foil on the top of the can anymore. So I've peeled all that off. So now what we're going to do is put oil in the engine and check it every now and again. Um, I'm going to put in three litres because it's currently just over four. Um, 4.25 litre can. This is, I don't know well why, it's 4.25 random and I'm using Granville oil it is um, I just actually might as well just show you the can if you haven't seen the label already because I didn't really show it earlier premium mineral oil engine oil 20 w50 same as the stuff I did last year uh, just different brand and I really don't want to use Halford stuff anymore so yeah I know I like the fact that the Halford stuff is green but that's as far as it goes. That's a lovely colour, that is. Crikey, that's only a litre. You don't want to put too much oil in the engine. That'd be a bad thing. Okay, that's just under three litres. Okay, so let's leave that for a moment. And let's check dipstick level, because it is now down to just over two litres. So it's currently two litres, roughly two litres of oil in the engine. So let's go over that way. Sorry if that movement was too fast, guys. Actually, we will call this an adventure, because I've got another job to do to the car. Oh, there is definitely oil on that dipstick.
for some reason that is showing way above the marker. Very strange. It should not be a two litre capacity of oil. It should be more than that. So what we'll do, we'll let it sit for a while, then check it, and then I think we should fire up TT's engine and uh, let the oil get around the pathways and such, and then check it again. All right, guys, you are currently propped on Pinky, so. Right, let's give TC a start. If you guys want to see anything about Pinky, there is a playlist, feel free. Look at that smoke, look at that. It's definitely burning way too much either engine oil or fuel, one or the other. Definitely burning way too much. Advice please. Hey guys, welcome back. It is uh, mid-November 2021. Uh, just uh, let everyone know what date it is. Uh, not exact. Anyway, um, socket on the top of the radiator hose. So what are we doing today? Well, we're going to drop the water. As you can see, there's a bucket down there. TC is jacked up. Only slightly because it doesn't need to have gone up very high. Um, we can go to the garage so the, the water didn't get hot enough for anything. So I'm going to get this one off, get that one off down there and drain the system. I've got these big buckets to put all the coolant into because the last thing we want is it all going all over the road. Well, there might be some spillage but there's not a huge amount I can do about that but I do have a hose and I can wash it all down a bit. So fingers crossed no animals will end up uh, ingesting that. 
I've undone the bottom hose a little bit and as you can see it is dripping and it's a nice shade of brown. Oh, sorry about that. Let's see if we can get the hose undone a bit more. flathead drive screwdriver to try and lever that off of there. All right, so we're focusing. Or do I need to, yeah, I think I need to undo that a bit more actually. Let's try and get in there. Right, so that is loose. Oh, there we go. Need to get off completely, really. Yeah, it's starting to get really loose now. Look at the Jubilee clip. <sighs> Called different things in different parts of the world. Not called a Jubilee clip in the States. I think the only thing I don't like about doing this is water goes all over the front valance, and that's not ideal. That's nasty. I'm catching most of it. Yeah, there are, I have, there is a, some of it going all over the floor. I will wash it away. just one of those things you've got to do when you've got a coolant system you've got to flush it out. It's a must I'm afraid. Let's have a look from underneath the front. There we go. You know, you've got some of it on the floor. I'm going to wash that away. I've got a, a garden hose. I don't know how much water is in the system, but I need to run the engine and put a hose into the top into the top of the coolant system and run the engine to flush it through. So I'll come back when uh, I've got all of it out. There we go. That is what was in the system. So it definitely needs a flush. So let's get rid of it. Bring you up a bit. There we go. That's pretty gross. running again. So a little bit too much more in there but I'm just going to let it overflow. But just show you there was quite a bit of crud in there. And that's not the first bucket with there. 
have like dirty water in it. So I'm going to give it another crop wash out in the next uh, couple of weeks or so. But yeah, there is quite a bit of rusting on it. So this is an old engine, so I'm not really going to complain. But it, I mean, it works, there's nothing wrong with it. So, you know, but there's no problem really. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, I've got one more job to do, I almost forgot. Right, I'm looking forward to doing this bit. Right, finally got some uh, hose to go over here. So, is it going to go? Yeah, it does go. I will need to get a little metal clip and uh, yeah, TC could come to the rescue on that one, but the hose does reach the floor, which is not really what you want. You want it a bit shorter, so let's do that, shall we? don't know how far down you can see down there. You can't really, can you? I'll try and move you further forward, but you're propped on strange things. Ah, there we go. You can just about see down there. Oh, maybe there. So if you can hear whooshing in the background, that's the uh, the garden hose. It's uh, didn't really want it to uh, feel too much pressure. Okay, so I think about there should do it. So I've got a little bit extra. Uh, something else if I need it, but yeah. Hang on, let's move you a bit. I will need to put a little clip around there. So that'll then, any overflow is going to send water down the side of the side of the radiator instead of all over the engine like it has been doing. So yeah, a couple of little jobs done.